If you have a washing machine that is turning the water on and off abruptly and causing rattling pipes or a water hammer effect, which is a vibrating or a thumping sound, like a hammering sound, then you may need these water hammer arresters. Hi, I'm CJ with Electric Eye Network. Let me show you what these do and how to install them. I already have the water hammer arresters on the back of my washing machine because I discovered this several years ago. They're starting to not be effective any longer, but it's been eight or nine years, so to me that's well worth the 20 something bucks that I've spent. These simply connect onto the back of your washing machine where the hoses connect on, and then the hose connects into it. So the water goes through it and there is a padded air chamber inside it to absorb the shock of the sudden turning on and off of the mechanical valve. I'm going to show you right now how to install these. I've already pulled the washing machine out and it's very dirty and there's a bunch of junk back there. I can't even lay on the washing machine and reach down there, so I'm gonna use these tongs that are meant for grilling. That allows me to reach all that stuff down there. Okay, all that's cleaned out, so I'm happy. I'm also gonna just put some old towels down there on the floor to catch any water that's dripping or draining when I disconnect the hoses. That way I don't have to try to put a dish down there in exactly the right spot or mop the floor afterwards. I'm gonna turn off the water valves going into the hoses that go to the washing machine. Now there won't be any pressure in these hoses. They will still be full of water though. One thing you can do to avoid confusion and problems when you're finished with this whole task is to keep track of which hose goes to which connector because that's your hot and cold of your washing machine. If you reverse them, then your settings are going to do strange things for your laundry loads. So what I'm doing this time is marking one hose with blue tape and I know that's the hot and that it connects to the faucet that's on the left. You could label them with tape hot and cold if you'd like. One funny thing is I'm not able to get back in the machine, but because I'm shooting it for you all, I just noticed that the connectors on the washing machine are clearly labeled cold and hot. In my case, the faucets on the wall are not labeled, so still don't mix up those hoses. And remember, if you do a YouTube video on your process, you might just learn a few things. <laughs> Now I'm going to disconnect the hoses from the water hammer arresters I already have on there. Once I disconnect the hose, I don't want to let it fall down because all the water will drain out onto the floor. I have a five pound dumbbell here. I will simply put the hoses under that to hold them up here. Once the hoses are off, now I can take the existing water hammer arresters off and that is where your hoses will be connected if you don't already have these on there. So now those are off. Here are the water hammer arresters I'm putting on. I have a link down below where you can buy a pair of these for a great price. It doesn't really matter what brand. These are branded under a lot of different names and you can tell a lot of them are the same ones. The important things to know are you want three quarter inch hose connections. It's a double A size water hammer, so that's the size you want if you want them to be like the ones I'm using. And like I said, I've got the link down below. This is an Amazon link to a price that I think is very competitive. And if in the end this video helped you understand this problem and how to fix it, please support me by liking and subscribing so that I can continue to make a lot more of these DIY product review, and video production related features for some time to come. Now I'm going to install the new water hammer arresters. I'm simply going to screw them onto the back of the washing machine. One thing that's important to mention about this LG washing machine that I have, and probably a lot of LGs and a lot of other brands, is that these connectors on the washing machine are now plastic. So be very gentle when you're turning these and don't torque them in different directions 
and break them off. Also, when you're putting the new water hammer arresters back on, you tighten them just securely by hand and then do one quarter turn with a wrench to tighten them. That's the most you want to do. Otherwise, you risk breaking these off. And then when you put the hoses on, make sure that you're not also twisting the thing in such a way that it's going to break off your connector either. There should be a gasket in each one of them. They included them inside the connectors to the washing machine, but not for the connectors to the hoses. One of the hose gaskets stuck to the original water arrestor that was on the machine. So I'm going to check this hose I've already connected to make sure there's one in there. I would have done myself a big favor by buying two new hose gaskets, but I'm going to reuse this one. Just push it back in there. It'll seal fine. Okay, once those hoses are back on there, I can now turn back on the water faucets, the valves. Once those are turned on, we do have water pressure in the hoses, so I can look for leaks and also feel around the connections to make sure no water is dripping. And if not, I can pick up the towel from the floor. I already have a load of laundry in the machine so that I don't waste any water doing a test load. I'll put some soap in and turn the washing machine on and check to make sure that everything's running fine and nothing's leaking. Right away, you'll notice that there's no knocking sound in the pipes. When the washer is abruptly turning on and off the valves to fill the wash load. Now if I don't see anything leaking and I don't feel any water around any of the connectors, I can push the machine back to the wall anytime I like and hopefully enjoy great washing and no knocking pipes for years to come. Thanks for watching.